2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to today's event. Today's coverage of the Grayson Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player's trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Look, this player's trailing at the moment. Let's face it, there is so much golf left out there. Anything can happen. Let's just sit back, relax, and watch it unfold. Today's promising to be an exciting one. So let's get straight into the action. You liked that, didn't you? And what are we looking at here, Henny? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. Opting for the 9-iron. This one headed left in a hurry. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. That's frustrating. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Oh, come on, you're better than that. Second shot on the second. Opting for the three iron here. This one's right of the green. That'll sting a bit. It's just about three feet away. You know, it's not if you make bogeys, it's how you respond. Well done. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. The putt drops and that's back-to-back -back birdies. This one should find the rough. Oh, so close. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. Nice little par putt here. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look.
Yeah, fair effort. Putting for a par here. Well, that was a bit wayward, wasn't it? Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Always a challenging approach to an elevated green. Getting ready to play their third. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. Going with the seven. Needs this one to kick right. This putt just five feet away from the hole. This one to save par. That starts off on a good line. Always frustrated by missing a green. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Not your best effort. Still a mid-range putt coming up. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. The breeze is moving left to right up there. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Uh-oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Par putt coming up here. Oh, nice looking putt. Because it wants to make you aim left, but there's a bunker there that you need to avoid. Funny enough, there's a lot more room out to the right than what you can see off the tee. A very strong par four to finish the front nine. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. Uh-oh. This one's headed... Oh, well played. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Better than most. That's an awful error. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut.
getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Judging it beautifully. This is just a three wood. Could be a driver up the hill. Second shot, very short, but beware, this green pitches some. Going with the seven. I don't know if they meant to do that. There's part of about six feet coming up. This one's looking good. Mm, just hammer that through the line. A bogey putter waits. Well done. Going with the five iron here. Just six feet between here and the hole. This looks good. Couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Just hit it just down the left-hand side. You can't reach the far bunkers down the left. Lay up with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood, but watch out, this third shot gets awfully tricky. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. He has this putt to save his par. one of those deep bunkers so you need to avoid those hit it out to the right which will leave a great second shot into this green that's not what they hoped for i'm definite about that sitting at two over par yep solid connection this is looking good That's disappointing. This is a par putt. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Guys, you know the worst lie you've ever seen? Yeah, time's up by 10. 
This is nasty. Oh, you see that one bouncing around the branches like a pinball machine? Well, that's an extra life in the bank, finding the green from there. Putting for birdie here. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Oh, a 14 footer. It's good to make a few of these per round. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Just didn't drop. Putting for a par now. And that puddle drop. Well done. He finds himself in a share of 14th position. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Well, here's a good time to be aggressive on the tee of a short par five. So much history on this hole. Aim it at the trees right in the center and hope you don't get unlucky and get underneath one of them. From there, it's going to be a layup out to the right and just a short third shot. What a wonderful, wonderful finishing hole. And here we are with the third shot. That's a little unpredictable. Hope that ends up all right. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. Just three feet to the cup. <laughs> 